and at this point I really just don't care but Friday I had an ultrasound and I seen the nurse practitioner after the ultrasound everything was great it just the baby looked good had a heartbeat 128 and I got to hear the heartbeat and um, I got several pictures and um, after the ultrasound I had a few errands I had to do and then we went to the mall and I had to get Bryson a few pairs of shoes because he has a growth spurt out of this world so I had to get him some new shoes. When we were at the mall I went to the restroom and noticed that I had started spotting. We had came home and I had called the doctor and the doctor said it was probably from the ultrasound and for me not to worry um, just kind of take it easy and if anything got worse or started cramping real bad that I was more than welcome to give them a call um, if I needed them. Um, let me back up just a little bit. On the 19th I had went in for and my first ultrasound, I was five weeks and six days. Um, the yolk sac and everything measured like five weeks and two days. They was not concerned. I really, you know, a little bit concerned, but I wasn't that bad because they said within that week, you know, as long as the measurements stay within a one week's span, it's fine. So, um... They noticed that I had two cysts on my left ovary. The reason I went in was because I was having real bad pain on my right side. So they wanted to make sure it wasn't ectopic or, you know, something was going on. So that was the reason for the pain on my right side was because I had two large cysts on my left ovary. So um, Friday when I had the ultrasound done, the tech killed me. Um, when she was checking the two cysts on my left ovary. Um, I had stopped hurting until I had the ultrasound done. And when I had the ultrasound done, it killed me and it just started irritating stuff and I just started cramping a little bit after the ultrasound. So, um, when I had called the doctor, you know, they told me not to be too concerned. It was probably just from the ultrasound. That's the reason why I was spotting. You know, take it easy, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, the doctor just told me to, you know, call again if I needed them. Um, or if the pain got worse, etc. Um, well, Friday, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And by 11.30, 12 o'clock Friday night, I was really starting to have bad cramping. And um, the bleeding started getting to where it was a heavier period. Um, but I wasn't bleeding enough that I had to go to the emergency room or anything. I didn't want to go to the emergency room because I knew they could not do anything for me if I was miscarrying. Plus, they would just tell me, you know, as soon as I can see my OBGYN anyway. So, um, I just, I just didn't go. So, um, I laid in bed and I started having, um, I continued to have a cramp. You know, you know, like just period cramping, but then I started having contractions every five minutes. And I knew, I mean, I I knew what was going to happen. Um, I just knew. And um, I just could not sleep at all Friday night. And... I had finally dozed off. I don't even know what time it was. Um, I had dozed off and my husband had woke up about 
five, yeah, about five o'clock, and I had opened my eyes and woke up too, and he asked how I was feeling, if I was still hurting, and, you know, I asked how everything was, and I told him, and, uh, I noticed I wasn't, um, cramping anymore, or as bad, so I went to the restroom, and, you know, it happened, so I, I knew, um, I lost the baby, so, um, it, it killed me, um, I just, I could not, I could not find myself to flush it, and I know some people just, you know, react to miscarriages different, and, um, I was just put in that situation where, um, it kind of happened at a time that, um, I had the choice to either, you know, do whatever with it, um, but I just could not, I couldn't find myself to just flush my baby down the toilet, um, so I just wrapped it in tissue. And, um, and I put it in a box, um, with my first miscarriage, um, you know, I just kind of didn't have a choice, I didn't know what to do, um, so, <laughs> everything did go down the toilet, and it killed me, um, the way I see it, it doesn't matter if you're five weeks pregnant or in your third trimester when you lose your baby. To me, it's the same. Um, cause my baby still had a heartbeat, and even though it did not, um, fully look like a baby <laughs> it still was my baby and my child and I just I couldn't find myself to push it I just I just couldn't do it so like I said I put it in a box and um my cramping had stopped um bleeding has, has continued but um for the most part you know my cramping has stopped so, I cleaned house, um, most part of Saturday to try and just keep my mind off things and get my mind, you know, um, off of things. Um, my husband did stay home with me from work and, um, we went to town and did a few things and, that helped me a lot to keep my mind off of everything because if I would have stayed home, I would have just been a hot mess. Um, we had got home and um, pretty much, you know, just enjoyed each other throughout the day. And I would have my moments where I would cry and he would hold me, you know, my husband would hold me and stuff like that. but. Uh, Sunday, I couldn't go to church. It was probably one of my worst days was Sunday. Then I had called my doctor Monday morning, and um, I went in and had an ultrasound done. I had already told the tech because she was new. I hadn't seen it before, seen her before, or even had her. So. I just went ahead and flat out told her, you know, I know what's happened. I know I've miscarried. Bryson's at the door knocking. <laughs> so Monday morning I went in for a ultrasound to um, 
see what was going on, but I had already told the tech. Bison's playing. Bye. Bye. Um, I had already told the tech, you know, I know I've miscarried. Um, so basically I'm just here to make sure everything's passed. And when she was new, I had never had her before. Um, so she did the ultrasound and sure enough, there was no baby. Um, she had, uh, she started looking at my ovaries and measuring everything. And I told her that I was supposed to have two cysts on my left ovary. And she could only find one on my left ovary. And I think it had went down to like three centimeters. Um, she killed me trying to find the other cyst and she just couldn't do it but the, she did something and there's free fluid there's free free fluid so one of my cysts had ruptured and it When I had to get up and go get dressed, get it back to the bathroom um, and get my clothes back on, um, even though I knew what happened, just seeing on the screen that the baby wasn't there, it was difficult. Um, uh, My husband had came, I had texted my husband and told him, you know, we definitely lost the baby because even though I knew he was still, um, you know, well, you know, let's just wait till Monday to make sure, but I knew. Um, so Monday, I went to Walmart and I wanted to bury baby in her backyard. Um, and I wanted to buy some flowers, but um, the only one that I had came across was a hydrania. Because I know they come back every year and they're really pretty, so um, that's what I picked out. And so my husband um, dug a hole and um, we buried the baby underneath the hydrogen. So, Monday night was the best sleep I had had since Friday night. Hold on, baby. And I felt at peace Monday. Um, even though that we was not trying. And this baby was completely a surprise. So even if this baby was a surprise and we wasn't trying for this baby, um, It was so loved and <sighs> with this being my third miscarriage um it's not any easier than the first And it's, it's, it's sad. <laughs> it's just, I feel, I feel like it's my fault. Um.
with me just seeing the baby's heartbeat and everything look so good. And like five hours later, it just, it turned to the worst. As a mother, you're supposed to be your child's protector. And, and you care for your child. And... I felt like my body failed as being the protector and the carrier and to help grow my child. And I feel like I failed. Um, when I had went Monday and talked to the nurse practitioner, I told her, that, okay, this is my third miscarriage. I want to know what's going on. Even though me and my husband are not trying, we're just at that point in our lives where if it happens, it happens again. And we'll just put it in God's hands. But if something's going on with my body and I have some kind of blood clotting disorder, etc., I want to know. So they started blood work Monday and um, I had already got back my results from my HCG levels and they had went down already to like 678. And uh, I go back next Thursday for a second draw to see what my numbers are next week or this week. Um, I actually go back tomorrow because today's Wednesday so I'll go back tomorrow for a second blood draw um, so they went ahead and started to do some tests to see if you know if I have lupus blood clotting disorders etc so they said if they could not really find anything then they would send us to genetics and get us tested so, um, so yeah, I'm just so sorry that I have not did an update. Um, if I do find pregnancy vlogs that I had did, if it's still on my computer, I will post them. But I'm going to have to go because Bryson's upset. And, um, yeah, so this has been a real difficult week for me. And, um, I'm doing okay. I just have my moments. But I am, um, I'm doing okay. Um, 